Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Mostly cloudy and hazy in the Boise area right now. No snow falling. Temperature is in the 20s in most of the valley right now. We may see some snow showers later this evening or overnight tonight. Nothing major will come in. And tomorrow morning there will be some light snow around. But again, I think as we move through the day tomorrow, better chance for more snow. A view from Kelly's Whitewater Park up in Cascade. It's a live picture here, pretty close to live, a few seconds old. Uh, temperature 20 degrees, lots of snow around. There's been some snow that we had during the day today. And there could be some significant snow in Long Valley and some freezing rain and rain could mix in towards the middle and latter part of the weekend as well. If you are headed up to the Winter Carnival, road conditions are going to be changeable. Some heavy snow and then some wet conditions on some of the roadways below 4,000 feet. Uh, again, there could be some uh, mud and rock slides beginning to form by Sunday or Monday. We'll have to watch this as temperatures begin to warm. But highs today generally in the upper 20s to near 30. 25 degrees for a high temperature in McCall during the day today. Uh, you see it was 8 this morning in McCall. Check this out and a nice beautiful uh, snowpack is showing up. A lot of folks walking out of the lake here with the winter carnival going on. There's more snow headed to the higher elevations. Again, McCall will see a good 6 to 12 inches of snow between now and Sunday. That's what I'm expecting in the McCall area. So this is something we'll have to watch very closely. Uh, if we get a little rain mixed in, it'd be closer to the 6, but it could be significant if we can keep that heavy snow going. Uh, unfortunately for anybody that's going to be in that area, I don't want to deter you from going up to McCall. Just again, just prepare for winter conditions. Just some snow flurries around right now. You look further to the south, here's where more, more moisture is tracking on in and it will come in tomorrow, but there's a big storm system sitting offshore and that's going to slow down the progress of all this moisture for Thursday. It is Friday and over the weekend we get hit hard. So let's go over the warnings and advisory. Our winter storm watch now still in effect for the lower Treasure Valley. This goes until Friday 5 p.m. So tomorrow morning to Friday 5 p.m. Two to four inches of snow possible during the day tomorrow. A couple of inches of snow. I'm thinking that's about it. It is if we get the snow continuing to Friday, another couple of inches is likely and then further to the west again, most of this three to six inches for Weezer and Ontario would be later. Not the 10 to 12 that I thought. I think we'll have significantly less. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Four to six inches in the McCall area for tomorrow into early Friday and then the, it will start to pile up as we go through the weekend as it just continues a prolonged snow event. The winter storm watch goes till Saturday morning here and significant snow will fall in these regions. Again, this snow here is just through tomorrow into tomorrow night. Six to 12 inches of the East Central Mountains. All said and done by Sunday. 18 to 36 inches of snow will fall above 5,500 feet between now and Sunday. So just keep that in mind. A prolonged period of snow. Great for the snowpack, but can make things difficult. In the valley, we're going to have some mild weather start to come in behind this. And as we go into the weekend, we're going to start to warm things up. And I think snow will turn over to rain, even in the Ontario Weezer area. And there could be a quarter inch of rain falling on that heavy snowpack that we have right now. And into early next week, there are some flooding concerns. I'm going to keep you posted on this. We'll keep you updated because we're going to have some significant warming with temperatures above freezing, even at night, even in the Ontario area. So keep that in mind. Futurecast does not show a lot of precipitation, not much at all overnight tonight. So some snow showers. You wake up tomorrow morning. It's not showing anything, but there's a chance for some light snow in the morning. I think after the morning rush hour midday, a better chance of some snow moving through. It doesn't look very widespread here. And then I think we'll uh, again see that often on chance of snow during the day tomorrow. More heavier precipitation comes in during the day on Friday. And you look at this future cast. Some of these pink and purple areas are here are 24 to 36 inches of snow in the higher peaks. Stanley could get some significant snow and I think McCall will get more than this. This is by Saturday as we add in Sunday. We're going to be over a half a foot of snow likely. So the winter for carnival forecast coming up snow likely on Friday, snow likely on Saturday, a mix of rain and snow Saturday night and into Sunday as well. Could be some freezing rain mixed in there as well. So it could uh, definitely be a wintry weekend indeed for the last weekend of the winter carnival. Let's take a look at an exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Temperatures warming to around the freezing mark. We've got maybe an inch of snow during the day tomorrow, possibly two inches of snow in western sections. A better chance for more some heavier snow in the western valley towards Friday. I'll keep you updated on that. Boise Mountains, two to five inches of snow likely. And again, it will be persistent snows that will just continue for some time to come. Two to five inches in the west central mountains, while in the east central mountains, about one to three inches for the daytime tomorrow for Stanley Sun Valley, with much more significant snow coming in for Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. Some snow showers likely, especially in the morning in the Magic Valley. Watch out for some slick conditions possible in the morning. I just don't think we'll get some real heavy accumulations in those valley locations. So the Boise area will turn over to rain 
rain showers Thursday night into Friday morning. Rain likely on Friday. Saturday rain is likely Sunday. More showers. Rain likely on Monday. Look at these low temperatures. Low temperatures in the mid 30s for three consecutive mornings. Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Monday morning. This is when significant melting will occur. We'll likely get some significant melting even in the Western Valley. And that does make us concerned a little bit about the flooding potential for early next week in the Western Valley. Anytime you have 400% of normal snow right. on sure. the ground. So yeah. we're going to keep an eye on this for you. A lot of moisture. Can you imagine yeah. if the temperatures were below freezing? The snow again <sighs> in uh, the valley. And that's why we're, I'm going to watch that as well. <laughs> yes. <in the> <laughs>